hey what is up everyone welcome back to future coders so today in this video we are going to be building this services section using html and css as you can see we will be having four of these services each of these will be having this hover effect as you can see this is a cool looking hover effect and we are also going to use these icons as you can see the color changes when i hover on it so i'll be using flexbox to make it responsive let me show you so if i go ahead and reduce the screen size as you can see uh, the layout changes so if uh, we are on the tablet screen as you can see the services section is divided into two columns and when i reduce the screen size further and when we switch to mobile screens the services section switch to one column so all of this we will be doing doing using flexbox so let's start building this So here I am at my Visual Studio code. So I have already created two files. One is index.html and another one is styles.css. And I have also linked the CSS file. As you can see, the CSS file is empty. So let's start from the scratch. First thing I will be importing whatever I need. So as since I as I said, I'll be using uh, icons from icons, right? So those icons are coming from the font awesome CDN. Let me just go ahead and import those first. So head over to cdnjs.com and search here for font awesome copy this cdn link and paste it inside our html file so here i will also add a font awesome cdn comment let me just go ahead and turn this into comment all right that's it and we are also going to use a custom font from the google font so here i will just head over to google fonts so fonts as you can see i have already added uh, all the required font sizes uh, all you have to do is search here for font pop-ins click on this and there you will have all the sizes that are needed i just imported the thin 100 extra light 200 light 300 other 400 and 500 and 600 so that's it so go ahead and import this inside our css file let's copy this and paste it inside our css file so that's it let's close this too now let's also spin up the development server by right clicking and open with live server all right there we have our blank screen so let's start coding inside the body i will have a div with the class name of services uh, hyphen bg this is uh, as you can see in the final version we have this background right so this is uh, for that and inside that we will create a section uh, with the class name of services inside this we are going to have an h1 with services and this is also going to have a class of heading uh, once we are done with that uh, as you can see we have four of these boxes right i refer it as boxes all right and uh, we we need to create a box container for those so here i will create a box container inside this box container we are going to have those four boxes so let's go ahead and start with the first box the first box is going to have as you can see the first we have this icon then this heading and then this paragraph right so here I will add the icon, uh, the class name for, for the icon is going to be FA regular and FA comments. Let me just see whether the icon has arrived. As you can see the icon is here. So, so next we'll have an H3, H3 is going to say quick support. And finally, we will have the paragraph with lorem 10 dummy words. That's it. That's it for the first box. Now, let me just copy this one more time. And the second one uh, icon is going to be the folder. This will also say storage. And copy this box one more time. This is going to be and check. 
and the h3 i uh, will say reliable so let's copy this box one last time this will this the icon is will be the circle up and the heading will be, will be increased performance it's a uh, head over to browser as you can see there we have our four boxes as you can see this looks ugly right so that's where our css comes in let me start with the css first thing which we need to do is obviously clean up all the default browser styles so let's target everything and i will set the font family to the pop-ins which we just imported and a fallback font of sensor if let's reset the margin to zero and padding to zero or this why this is all right padding to zero box sizing to border box text transform i will set it to capitalize and transition since we are going to have a uh, horror effect right i want it to happen smooth so here i will set the transition to a's out so that's it for the resetting let me see as you can see all the uh, default margin and padding is gone here i will target uh, the whole root html element i will reduce the font size to 62.5 percent as i said in the previous video also uh, the reason for this is uh, as one ram is equal to 16 pixels by reducing it to 62.5 percent we will set the one ram equal to 10 pixels so uh, this makes easy for me to uh, set the sizes and also if i want to set uh, box height to 10, 10 pixels i will just set it as one ram so that's it and i will also set the overflow next to header all right now now let's target the section the section is going to have a padding of 3 rm to the top and bottom and 2 rm to the left and right and a max width of 1200 pixels so it doesn't go beyond that and to center everything uh, so i will use margin and auto zero to the top and bottom and left and right auto so here as you can see everything is centered all right now let's go ahead and uh, uh, target the this services pg because i need to set a background color for our section uh, for the container so here i will say services pg and i will set the background color the color is going to be f3 f2 yeah, sorry f5 and f8 this is that grayish color as you can see this color so next up i will target this heading so here i'll say heading for the heading i will set the color to some brownish color so this is the color slash 2 e 1 f 2 some uh, let's increase the font size to 3.5 rem text align to center position relative let me see it all right as you can see in the final version we have this uh, uh, line right so let's go ahead and implement that for that i need to target the before and after pseudo classes so here first let's target the before one uh, i'll set the content to uh, an empty string position to absolute since we already set the position to relative so I will set the display of block width is going to be 12 rm mm, and let's also set the height to 0.1 rm and the background is going to be this white color from the bottom it's going to be 1.1 rm and we will also cal uh, for the left one we need to calculate it dynamically so i'll uh, i'll set it to 50 percent minus uh, 6 rm so let's see as you can see there we have a small white line that's that uh, that it's going to be 12 rm in length so 
as you can see we have set the width and from the from the top uh, it's going to be oh, sorry in the from the bottom it's going to be 0.1 rem so all right and let's go ahead and implement the that yellow line so for that i need to target the after one and for the after uh, let's copy this it's going to be the same uh, the expect uh, the width is going to be 4 rem and height to 0.3 rem background as i said uh, that yellow color uh, a e 0 3 so this is the color from the bottom it's going to be 0 and again we need to calculate uh, let's copy this and it's going to be 2 by as you can see uh, i think somewhere uh, we messed up so let me go ahead and see where we messed up so this uh, this should be 1.1 rm so that's why it went all the above as you can see there we have our heading with this uh, bottom line so so that's it for the heading part now it's time for the flexbox to show its powers so here i will target the box container that is where our box four boxes are there so and for the box container i will set a display of flex it makes everything come in a row as you can see and i will add a margin to the top of 3 rem gap of 2 rem and flex wrap to wrap so if it doesn't get space it will wrap the content as you can see here it was not getting a, getting enough space it wrapped here so as you can see i have also added a gap of 2 rem so uh, in between those boxes there will be a gap and a margin to the top of 3 rem so that's it for the box container now we'll target the individual boxes here i'll say dot box and for the box i will set a flex flex grow will be one and flex shrink will be one and flex basis is going to be 23 rem so that it takes 23 rem of the space as you can see these are taking 23 rem of space individually and here i will set the background color to white padding to 2 rem and a border radius of 0.5 rem and we are also going to have this box shadow all right let's see all right there we have our services boxes as you can see they look uh, great it uh, but still we need to style the insides so let's go ahead and do that first thing uh, i will need to add a hover effect let's add that hover effect first here so when i hover on those boxes so as as a in the intro part i showed that when i hover on it the box translates to upright so here i will add a transform and a translate in the y direction and i will set it as minus one rm and we'll also change the cursor to pointer so that's it let me hover as you can see and i hover on it the box translates in the y direction so it goes minus one rm to the top as you can see all right uh let's also change the color of uh, when i hover on it i want the s3 color to change to this yellowish color right and similarly for the icon also so when i hover on the icon the color should change to this color and font size no 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 mm, uh, the color of the eye is always is already going to be uh, the yellow color so we don't need to change it so here i will say font size to 3.5 rem or let's just set it to 3 rem and a margin bottom to 1 rem so let me just go ahead and check it 
as you can see when i hover on it the heading color changes so now let's target the h3 so let's increase the size of that i'll just copy this for now and do this hover so for the h3 i'll set the color to this brownish color font size to 1.7 rem and a margin bottom of 1 rem and let's also target the paragraph also for the paragraph i will add a font size of 1.3 rem color is going to be this black color but we will reduce the opacity to 0.6 to make it look little bit grayish as you can see there we have our services so the only thing uh, now left is nothing so that's it we, do, we don't need any media queries and all uh, everything is taken care by our flexbox guys so let me just go ahead and inspect and reduce the screen size as you can see guys uh, everything works perfectly since we are since uh, we switch to the tablet screens the columns will be two and if i switch to mobile screens let me just go ahead and reduce the columns will be one so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video hope you guys learned some uh, learned about how to use flexbox we don't have to use any media queries right so that's it uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel please make sure you hit that like button and then subscribe to our channel so and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching bye